Hi, so this video is a bit of a follow-up on a video that I've already made. The video was called People Don't Matter or something like that. You can look it up, wherein I talked about how people don't matter, about how you shouldn't care what people think. Because many times when you're starting out on your own in the freelance world, in the entrepreneurship world, it's very hard because you have these friends, these ex-co-workers, classmates, stuff like that, who are not becoming entrepreneurs and they're working or planning to work for a, co a corporation, a company, something like that. And so they kind of don't think what you do is very serious. You feel kind of out of place when you do that and they, they're they treating it like it's not serious and you feel you might have to treat it like it's not serious, especially because if you try something and it doesn't work out and you fail, then you'll feel really dumb. And many times stuff like this keeps people from starting out on their own. So I wanted to address that once more. I already addressed it in that video, but I wanted to address more about the failing aspect of it because many people are worried about failing for many reasons when they start off on their own. I mean, and with reason, you keep hearing about how one or I don't know what it is. It's, you know, four out of five, three out of five businesses fail. I mean, it depends what industry you're in. Like, you know, some of them, if you're in the restaurant business, yeah, it can be very precarious. Uh, other businesses less so, but Failure is something that goes hand in hand with entrepreneurship. You're going to hear stories about it and chances are you will fail as well. And in fact, I think as I, as I mentioned in the video as well, I kind of hope you fail because when you fail, a lot of things happen. I want to go through it. Failing does not mean, oh, I tried it. I failed. Now I don't know what to do. I'm going to be homeless and live under a bridge or I have to go back to work in the corporate world or something like that. It doesn't mean that at all. Failing just means that you tried something and it didn't work out, so you have to try the next thing. In fact, I usually try to fail as quickly as possible. I don't want to be throwing a whole bunch of resources and money after something that if it's a complete failure, especially time. I don't want to be dedicating six months of my life to something if it's going to be a failure. So I'd rather just go all in on something and see if it works out or not right away. It's basically a rite of passage. You're going to go have to go through you know 10 different failures to get to success. So it's better to hit those failures right away. Once again, it's not the end all. It's, it just means something didn't go the way you planned it in the beginning. And which makes sense because at the beginning, you didn't know what was going to happen. You can't foresee the future. No one knows how something is going to happen. Every single person has had to change something up. I don't care if you're Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, John D. Rockefeller. You've had to change things up more than once. The main difference between a successful entrepreneur and someone who isn't is usually people who are able to pick themselves up after they fail and to keep going. Seth Godin has a book called The Dip and you know that's where he talks about where you've hit a couple failures and things seem not to work, not to work, not to work and that's when most people are like okay this just isn't working I'm out of here but it's the people who persevere and keep going those are the ones who succeed and it's very true. I mean think about it with life. If you if you are if you're walking down the road and you trip and fall on your face you failed at walking. Does that mean you're never going to walk again? Does that mean you're never going to try that again? No, of course you're going to have to keep walking. And at the beginning, you might be very weary about where you walk and how you walk and stuff like that, but you're going to keep walking. And the same goes for business. If you trip up and mess something up, well, you know, obviously try to control the downside, um, but otherwise just pick yourself up, dust off your shoulders and keep going. If you know that didn't work, then try another venue. At least you found out quickly that that didn't work and so you can try something else. I really think failure needs to be embraced. Unfortunately, it's something that, you know, especially through our education, through schooling, we're taught that failure is bad, but anytime you try anything new, you're going to fail. If you don't fail, it means you're not you're not trying hard enough because you want to reach your limit. You're only going to figure out your limit if you fail. And so there's so many reasons you should be failing and I I really think failure is good. Obviously, you don't want to fail too bad that you can never pick yourself up and you're ruined forever. But, you know, anything short of that is going to be good for you because you're going to learn from it and you're going to be able to move further because of it. And, and last but not least, obviously, you know, it affects people. If you fail, you look bad in front of these ex-co-workers and friends and classmates and in front of others. And no one likes to look bad. No one likes that. But that's why you need to kind of be able to brush your shoulders, be like, and if someone said, oh, how did it go with that thing you were doing? And, and you know, you need to be able to say, because the difference, you can say, oh, well, that didn't work out. I guess I'm a failure. Okay. Or you can say, well, we tried that out, but it turns out, you know, people don't like my, 
whatever I was trying at all. And so, you know, now we're going to try this. And, you know, but I think it's better because this is working. I mean, just you have some optimism. Trust me, it's going to rub off on other people. And they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Or you can say, look, we tried this business, but, you know, we found that it was better to pivot into something else. Pivot is a big buzzword that that's very much in. And so, you know, just say you pivoted. And so you're doing this now and just take it from there. Once again, and I say that because I understand that, you know, we all live in this world. And so we live around other people who keep judging us, but you really need to do things for yourself and not for the other people, because at the end of the day, they don't care how you live or what you're doing. Anyway, not to get too philosophical or too deep, but failure can be a very good thing if you use it correctly. And I think you should be, if not searching for it, you should at least embrace it and be able to learn from it. Put yourself in a position to learn from it and then you can move on. So I hope you found this video useful and I hope it helps you out in the future. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click like and subscribe for more videos about freelancing, entrepreneurship and stuff like that. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.